Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another vlog. This one is about some landscaping that we've had done recently. And uh, you can see the studio there in all its glory. Uh, good thing is all the wood uh, work has been uh, varnished and stained and all that sort of stuff. And we've actually got a paved area now. Uh, so yeah, that took a little bit of, uh, of making. We had to get some people in to do that, but that's all done now and uh, it's all landscape so let me show you how it went from a barren wasteland after the build of the studio to a lovely outdoor fresco area so i pulled this footage from our ring security cameras uh, with some willing participants and you can see mick and ann there and uh, the rest of their helpers cleaning up the plants and getting rid of the uh, there's some fine stone there they're getting rid of as well uh, and just removing uh, the old pavers that were there uh, and cleaning that all up. So they're fitting some brackets at the bottom of the studio now to put some additional decking. The deck didn't actually go all the way down to the ground. We wanted to make sure that Hamish couldn't get under there. So they finished that and uh, now they're just making up some frames for some garden beds uh, before they put down some crushed rock uh, and then start measuring out, putting some sand down uh, everywhere and then starting to put the pavers uh, in a minute they're just uh, leveling off and you can see we've got a nice gray cement paver that we're getting laid down there and you can see that uh, mix work is meticulous there absolutely straight everything is dead straight which is fantastic it just looks so good uh, and we get a little square around the tree there and uh, just filling out a little bit more sand, putting down some more pavers and going around to the corner. That rock that was in the middle of the garden has been moved over to the frame of one of the garden beds, uh, and which is just being paved around now. And you can see that they're, they're, they're just hosing that down. I think I think most of it done now, I think. Rain called a day off, and they're just doing the pavers around the back to our new little garden area there. And just trying to get rid of some of the stains and stuff. Bit of a rainy day, there's Hamish and me playing. And they're just fixing up one of the pavers was a bit loose. Now they're just concreting in the edges of the pavers so they don't move. And then just around the tree. They're going to sweep some. This is a special paving sand which has a, a gel that forms kind of like concrete once it's swept in and given a bit of a spray and uh, holds them all in place. Uh, all in all, it looks pretty good. So let's come back just to redo it again, just to make sure that uh, everything's done. I'm putting some stones around the tree there. That looks really nice. Statue in front of it. And now they're painting and sanding the sanding and painting uh, the deck uh, and the cedar cladding on the front of the studio just to finish all that off all done looks lovely there's a shot coming from the grapevines towards the studio uh, not quite finished yet the garden beds haven't been filled up but uh, yeah nonetheless there's holly the dog the cheese dog and she's uh, just perusing the garden looks pretty good nice aerial shot don't mind the spa in the pool though so that's the shot you would have seen during the building video uh, our backyard studio build uh, but now you can see that look at that lovely paved area I'll just take you on a bit of a tour so here we go a little bit of shaky cam but as you can see we've got the Teddy steps that were done uh, and uh, we've just replaced it all with a uh, grey step so that's still there which is good uh, and all the deck has been stained now as you can see uh, and uh, all the woodwork the, all the cedar cladding has been done as well it's got a nice coast coating of uh, external uh, what is it it's marine varnish I think some stones down there just to make it look a little bit nicer and then down here got these grey pavers that have been laid out 
and the lovely cabbage tree palm that just keeps on going. Absolutely fantastic. As you can see there, we've got some stones around that. And the paved area goes from where the barren wasteland was down to meet the old deck. As you can see, well, it's not that old, it's where the, all the great vines are. And our second cabbage tree palm. And then a stoned area there near the glass fence for the pool. And then a garden bed, which we're gonna plant out soon. It's got the soil, uh, the Buddha. Lovely bench there. Oh, this old table's going, we're getting something different because it's just about to collapse. And then infill, we've got some solar lights and stuff going on here, which are charging. And a yucca plant there, that's gonna stay. And this is all infilled. Underneath this reed matting is another garden bed, which we're stopping Hamish from digging in just by putting that there at the moment. Then around the back, this used to be, oh, just overgrown with a wandering rose and all sorts of stuff. Got a couple of garden beds there. Another bench and a table. That's actually the pool pump. Um, and it's in a uh, acoustic box now, as you can see. And that keeps it all quiet for the neighbors. It's the neighborly thing to do. And we've got some garden beds here. We've got two nice big long garden beds. We're just trying to source at the moment some um, two Eureka, uh, sorry, two Maya lemon trees and two Tahitian limes. We're trying to get those. Got a little spot here, hard to see, there we go. Uh, underneath there is the inspection pipe for the sewer, so we had to keep that clear. We're gonna put a plant pot on top of it. But yeah, and then the fence has been painted as well, spray painted, and uh, it looks absolutely lovely over the pool area now. So yeah, really good job. One thing, the next bit of work we're gonna do, we've got some benches near the barbecue there. We have, they're built in, we have to get them removed due to the new regulations here for pools in Victoria because people can hide behind them apparently. Um, so we're gonna get those removed. It's gonna be a clear deck with just some bench seating that's, that's like it's there now. But uh, all in all, very, very nice. It's looking lovely. Really put a lot of work and effort into this area. Uh, these are some lovely cranes that Kim has purchased. Don't mind the green little paddling pool there, just got to vacuum that out. But other than that, the pool's lovely. Not quite ready to swim in, still not warm enough here in Victoria, a bit too bloody cold, unfortunately. Right, so I've got these um, lemon and lime trees. I've got two Tahitian limes and two uh, Maya lemons, which are really not a lemon, they're a cross, but uh, yeah, they're very, very tasty. So I'm just gonna plant those now in one of the garden beds around the back. So let's get into that. Well, there we have it. All the the two Maya lemons and the two Tahitian limes all in the bed there. Looks really nice around here now, doesn't it? Well, there you go. Um, thanks to Mick, the handyman, and his lovely wife, Anne, for doing the work for us. Uh, really has helped uh, take some of the load off uh, and uh, yeah, done some great work. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this video and uh, we'll do some more uh, very, very soon. All right, see you for now, bye.